switch back to this really quick. And the next thing that we're going to talk about, which we kind of talked about the enhanced scenes, making, bringing out these toolbars. So the next thing is that we wanted to show enhanced scenes. And if anybody that hasn't used enhanced scenes yet, it is basically a, a capture or a, a camera loaded. But it will go ahead and bring in your parts based on that scene that you created. So we already have two of the scenes already created in this model. So if I go ahead and just uh, apply these. No. <clears throat> so what it, what it does is going to switch back and forth between an assembled build and a separated build. Uh, we can kind of use this in 3DCS. So if we, um, if we wanted to make sure that we're moving these parts right, within, you know, like going from this upper A arm to the frame, we want to make sure that these parts are actually built correctly when we're doing our moves or when we're creating points, uh, using our features. Some of the things that we can just drop back and then go back to where we were before. Um, so if I switch back to a separated, just apply the entire scene. So now everything is just separated. We do have to go and yeah, right now it's hidden. There it is. So um, when we do apply a, a scene on here, we do have the update model. So right now our mesh is not shown, points not shown. If I went back to assembled, see our mesh is kind of like floating out of space, but we just hit update model and it goes back to the actual part location. Pretty, pretty easy. Um, so it moves the CGR first. And then use the update model to to match all the mesh to it. It uses it moves the actual CAD parts. These oh, are, okay. This is actual Katia yeah. function gotcha. within here. So, in order to create these scenes, and uh, we do have an enhanced scene that I kind of want to try. So we can go ahead and just name it whatever new scene full. And what it's going to do is going to open up into this new kind of space, changes the background a little bit. So I want to go ahead and actually hide show. And I only want to work in the wheel. So I'm going to hide show these um, features here, the coil. Now I'm just going to be showing the wheel. Here. And then within this scene, I'm going to take my compass, and I am going to move out this um, the rim. If I can find it, or is it all one part? All right, that's fine. We'll just move the brakes. Or the rotor. The disc. The disc. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this is just an example. So. Um, to get you an idea what we can do with these enhanced scenes. So right now I got the, the wheel and the, the disc separated. If I exit, it nothing really kind of happened. Um, so I can go back to my, right now I'm in the separated scene. So if I apply the new scene I created, the scene that I created has the break discs and all the other parts hidden. So now I can go back here if, um, if I only wanted to work on that wheel assembly, I could just go to the subtree menu and open up only that. For so, like, I'll just have this, and there's my uh, subtree window, just like I did in NX. So now you've isolated the parts you want to work on. Correct. And you've created a scene. Now the scene, um, I think, talking about the values of scenes, scenes are are, are model setup captures. So really, a lot of these tips don't make a lot of sense when I'm working with three parts. But when we start talking about large models, you want to have, you can use scenes to create captures along the way. So if I have uh, a sub-assembly in a specific position, or if I have a certain set of parts I want to work with later on, I can use a scene to quickly move, come back to those parts in a specific setup. So uh, it's really helpful because if you are going to be working in different stages or if you're working in assembly groups. So for example, here with our suspension model, 
when he went to the scene, it auto hid those other parts, right? Because they were hidden in the scene setup. Mm -hmm. yes. So if I've got some sub-assemblies, I can technically set each sub-assembly as a specific scene, and when I activate that scene, it'll hide the rest of my model, just bring up that sub-assembly, separate it, ready to go. And then I can open up my subtree, like you showed. Now I'm only working on that sub-assembly. So it allows you to very quickly move between assembly sections on large models instead of having to rehide, reopen, reclose, and reset up your model every time you want to move to a new sub-assembly. Or right. leave all of that stuff open and end up working with too big of a model so whenever you try to, to nominal build or change anything or move it around, now since you're working with so many parts open and shown, it can slow down your process and make things more confusing. Right. So, and so go back to the separated scene. <laughs> so you don't leave that one in some weird position. 